Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Wisdom Amen. This is the part 4 of the continuation of our skin cancer detection project and in this video we will be uh, seeing how we can build a Flask web app, how we can run that Flask web app locally and prepare our web app for next step that is deployment on Azure. So in the next video I will talk about how we can build our developed Flask app into uh, as a dockerized uh, image in Azure Cloud and how we can make it live so that you can run it and make it available online for predicting images of skin cancer. So, so first of all, we need to see the structure of, of our uh, Flask app. So this is our uh, skin cancer web app folder and in this we have uh, uh, defined a structure in the form of Flask app. Right. So uh, first of all, we have some defined folders, uh, which uh, which is which is following the Flask uh, structure basically. So first is the static. So whichever uh, your uh, UI based files, right? Uh, whichever your UI based files like CSS for designing your HTML files, images, and JavaScripts, all you need to keep it here. That is fixed files that are not changing static files. Uh, next is our templates folder. Here we, we we have to keep our HTML files, which will actually render on the web app, right? So index is our default uh, page, HTML page, which will first run on our app. This is the first page, and predict is the uh, next page that whenever you click on predict, this page will show the actual predictions and the results. So next is the upload folder. This this will uh, be containing all the images that you will be uploading in the app, and it will also contain the heat heat map that will that we will be creating on the fly in the app. Uh, so these are the uh, three uh, folders. Two are the basic uh, Flask folder. Apart from that, you can uh, keep any other folders. So next is the models folder. It will. It, it is containing our actual model that is mobile net v2 uh, model, okay, in H, HD5 format, and uh, it is. You can see it is not much. It is just 30 MB folder, 30 MB files. Sorry. So apart from that, we have now Python files. This is the main file app.py, which will be actually rendering on our uh, web app. That is at actual run on the local host. Second, it is the heat map. This this uh, file basically containing all the functions of for creating heat map. Okay, and uh, which which I have shown you in the last video, right? How to how to uh, create a heat map of the predicted image so that we can see the actual regions, highlighted regions in the images, uh, which the actually model is seeing. So basically, in this web app, we'll be we'll be uh, uploading the image of the potential skin cancer images uh, it will predict uh, which type of cancer it is whether it is melanoma whether it is basal cell carcinoma or whether it is a non-cancerous nevus type and in the form of percentage it will show and apart from that it will also show the heat map uh, which is the actual uh, affected region based on which our CNN model is saying it is melanoma or other type okay so first uh, next we, what we will do we will uh, open our app in the vs code so you can see uh, we have same uh, structure here so first of all we'll see the, our app.py file so here we have all our uh, important libraries which we have imported and here you can see this is our uh, heatmap.py uh, file from where we are uh, actually importing the two main functions for actually plotting the heat map. So this is our heat map.py file where we are actually using the uh, functions defined in the Keras uh, side which I have shown to you in the last video right and I will also share the link of uh, that Keras website where you can find the whole code of containing this heat map. Uh, apart from that I will also share the link of our Git repo where you will find all the code which I am showing in this video. So these are the basic uh, functions which we are using in our app.py file. So we have imported all the important functions from it. Next uh, 
this is the very important step actually i have a, a, i have a gpu installed in my uh, laptop locally but uh, what i am doing is i am uh, just declaring it as declaring to use uh, uh, only cpu for inference part okay uh, that's because uh, uh, for that we need to set up our CUDA and all so uh, it will it be for showing error to me so that's why I've just keep it uh, to CPU so that will not show you error and, and the app will run smoothly and most of uh, you have uh, uh, most of the people have only CPU so that's why I'm making it as a generalized one so that uh, you will not face any error Next, uh, I'm defining important folders, uh, configuring important folders where we'll be uh, uh, where we'll be uploading the uh, files. So initially, I was using heatmap folders. I'm just commenting it out because now I'm using only one folder that is upload where I'm uploading all the images and also the heatmap created heatmaps. Next, uh, I am. Uh, loading our model so defining the path for the model so we have a models folder and there i have this model file that is mobile net underscore v2 next i'm loading the model so once you just open this app right once you just open the, this app the first uh, line will upload the load the model okay so it will so during the loading of the app this model will be loaded so <clears throat> Now, uh, what's uh, what next thing we are using is uh, we are creating dictionary based on the uh, class and label uh, definition which we have used in while building our app. So zero belongs to basal cell carcinoma, one melanoma, and two nevus. And the similar fashion you have built it in your model for building the model. Right? Next, uh, uh, we have a function for uploading the file this will help to upload the file in the defined folder right uploads folder we have right because uh, if you want to upload any uh, file in the folders other than the uh, structured folder like a static right uh, other than a static folder which is defined flask folder so you need to define like this send from directory and you need to configure that folder so that you can upload it any dynamic folder or any user defined custom folder okay so that's for this reason next we have an index uh, and and this is our index or html uh, file which will be first uh, this is our main page and it will be showing once we open the app next we have a model predict function you can see uh, this what it will do it will uh, basically uh, load the image what what you have up, uh, uploaded right so you need to specify the image path and the model so it will open the image and will do the necessary pre-processing whatever we have done for building the model right so we need to uh, convert it into array now we have to divide it by 255 so image normalization is happening here right. image normalization next we need to predict the image uh, whether it is which class it belongs to so by doing model dot predict uh, we'll be getting a array right and in array we have uh, all the three classes probabilities so what we are doing in this step basically uh, we are sorting that array and uh, sorting that list basically and uh, in this we are defining class disk class dict uh, which is our dictionary uh, the label and the definition and we are iterating through this dictionary and uh, enumerating that threads right so whatever the predictions we are getting we are converting into uh, converting it into a uh, sorted format so we will be getting a, a list type of uh, structure in the form of list sorted list in which the highest prediction uh, highest prediction based on the probability value highest probability value will be on the top while other classes will be in the uh, uh, well come in the next so next this is our predict actual predict uh, 
uh, function so i'll come uh, to this because uh, here actually we are first uploading the image right so whatever upload we are doing uh, using post method we are just uploading it and uh, once we upload it using uh, html upload uh, uploader uh, uploader uh, input file we'll just receiving that file we are uh, uh, defining this file path where we will be actually use, uh, creating a file path using os.path.join where we are defining the base path which will define the root directory of the folder then uh, we have to de uh, define the actual dynamic folder that is uploads and the actual file name right secure file name so after that uh, what we'll be doing is uh, we'll we'll save that file in the defined uh, path which we have defined here right next uh, uh, so now we need to do the predictions for prediction we need to use this model under underscore predict right and here we are defining uh, we are passing these file path and model uh, as a parameter okay and model is defined already globally here you can see that so it will be available in any function and now uh, what's happening is basically in model predict we are uh, yeah so uh, we are doing it uh, predictions here so we will be getting a two part one is the prediction uh, list where we will be getting probability in the classes and second is the image actually what we have uploaded so what is the reason for uh, returning this image because we need to plot the actual source image in the prediction also and uh, corresponding heat map we need to build and uh, also show so that we can compare what is our source image what is our heat map and what is the actual affected region the model is seeing in the image right so it will give the clarity in the next part what we are doing is we're defining the last convolution layer i told you in the last video that uh, we need to define the last convolution layer name so we are defining here next we are uh, 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 we are calling this make grad cam heat map function where we are passing image model last convolution layer name so it will give you the basic heat map and once we get the basic heat map we need to uh, call save and display grad cam method where we are passing the file path which we have defined here okay and the heat map which we have generated just now and uh, based on that we will get the file name so this file name basically what it will do so save and display get cam what it will do basically it will store the uh, heat map on the fly and it will up, uh, store the heat map in the uploads folder okay with the file name underscore cam path okay cam path is nothing but the cam.jpg so uh, whatever file you are uploading the same name uh, let's say uh, image1 underscore cam dot jpg will be saved in the uploads folder so that you can understand that uh, what is the uh, heat heat cam uh, heat map uh, file of that particular corresponding source image now we need to render template and we need to uh, define the html file which will be rendered after just calling these functions uh, so we need this file name for plotting actual source image we need the heat map heat map file for plotting the uh, heat map and the result actually the prediction the list which we are uh, need to plot as a table so that's it so so now what we'll do uh, we will run the app so for running uh, we need to uh, activate our uh, virtual uh, environment virtual environment so for that i am uh, so for that what you need to do you need to pull the code and create the virtual environment like this with this command conda create hyphen n and you need to define the uh, 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 environment name that is skin env and then python the, uh, the actual version 3.9 like this so i have already created it so i am not uh, again creating it I'm just uh, activating it. Conda activate is in env, and when you just uh, create the Conda environment and activate it, 
the next step what you need to do you need to install all of the requirements right so like this you need to install all the requirements pip install hyphen r requirement of txt so what we have in uh, requirement of txt these are the important uh, dependency of python libraries that will be installed okay <clears throat> so like that you need to do so i have already installed it so again i am not doing this step once again so now what i have to do i have to run the app so for running the app you need to do python space app.py which is your main file app.py now just when you click uh, when you enter it will take some time to initialize the app you know, and it will be uh, it will be uh, showing you where it is running so it will run on local host 8080 just click on it so this is our uh, screen detector app here we need to upload the image so let's say i am using this folder okay so i am using this one only melanoma so like that you can see this is the uh, highlighted region uh, the heat map actually successfully highlighted the region the affected region and here the result 100 percent it is showing while uh, others are 0 0 percent so it is very confident that it is melanoma similarly we can do other testings also for for other other classes how it is behaving so let's say it is nevus for nevus we are testing this file so you can see that this is also pretty confident a hundred percent is saying that it is nevus right and also highlighting the actually affected region which is uh, actually model seeing in the file next uh, we can also see the other one let's see uh, the third one is parcel cell carcinoma and in this maybe we can use any anything this one right so just so now you can see it is 98.9 percent confident that it is basal cell carcinoma and you can see that it is quite spread it so the uh, highlight part is also spread it accordingly and uh, the clear distinction you can see here so it is clearly uh, correctly identifying that it is basal cell carcinoma so that's it in this video or uh, this is our class web app which is uh, successfully doing uh, successfully predicting the skin cancer images of all the three types also showing the grad cam heat map so that it will give some clarity to the medical professional that what our scene and model is actually seeing in the images while doing the prediction so it is not a, a black box right and apart from that it is also showing the confidence how much confident it is in predicting a particular class so thanks guys thanks for watching our uh, video and the whole code of this flask app is, uh, uh, is uploaded in our skin cancer detection repo in the GitHub. And that is shared in the video description. You can just use it, pull the code and run it at your end and see whether you are able to predict or doing the, whether you can do the predictions like that. Thanks, thanks for watching our video. Uh, stay connected for our next video for deployment of this app on Azure.